So I don't know about you, but I consider myself to be quite messy brained. I'm much more at home out and about doing something creative than trying to be here and organising the shambles that is my life. <laughs> One tool that's helped me massively in the last 12 months or more is Notion. So I thought it'd be really helpful to show you five ways in which Notion has helped me organise my life and helped me stay productive and also at times literally kept me sane. <laughs> And I should mention, it is completely free if you're an individual user. The free user allowance is massive. You get up to a thousand blocks, so you can get loads of use out of this without spending a penny. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. Am I fangirling? Yes, I am. <laughs> So let's start with some idea gathering and organising of those ideas. A lot of my life is spent sitting and thinking. I do this thing where I write no bad ideas. So whether that's on a piece of paper or on Notion, I do that as a means to let myself write any old nonsense down. And it really helps take the pressure off, I find. Here is where all of my basic ideas end up. So these are not videos yet, these are just anything goes, let's see what sticks. If I want to write down a new idea, I can just press plus and write, my new idea is awesome. Now, from here, I can say it's a general photography, micro four thirds, it's the camera series, and you've also got a button in which to open. Uh, let me just show you one that I've got with stuff in. Uh, an ode to the GH5. So it opens up and here I can write an ode to the camera that changed my life, yada yada yada. Oh wow, I actually wrote quite a big script for this. <laughs> I should probably make that into a video at some point. So it's not just text based. So if you press the forward slash, you can pull in anything you fancy. We have to-do lists. So maybe read aloud and see if it sounds natural. Or perhaps we want to make a header that's title ideas and then we'll make those into bullet points. An ode to my GH5, the camera that changed my life. It blooming did. It really did. So this is where my ideas formulate and then when I'm ready it goes to my main board. So let's just say that my ode to GH5 is ready to be turned into an actual video. We can right click it and we can go to move to and then I've got an actual board called micro for nerds which is my main board up here. And these are all of my actual completed stuff. If a video idea is brought into this database this is getting done. That's the commitment that I make to myself. And you'll find the one that I've just pulled in here right at the bottom. Now, you'll notice on this database there's a couple more rows and columns to help me get organised. One of them is this nonsense looking number at the left, which is the number that corresponds to the folder where all the footage is. So that way I can go into Finder on my Mac, type in the number and I'll find everything really, really quickly. I'll show you more about that in a bit. Here we have columns for if it's a sponsored video, if it's a tiny camera series, if it's a passion project, if it's time sensitive, perhaps it's an embargoed product. Then we have status. So we have ideas, scripting, filming, editing, uh, pending review from a sponsorship, scheduled and then published. And then when it is published, we'll have a published date and then we have a URL so I can easily find things if I need to. Now, I wish I made this template, I didn't. It was made by a very cool YouTuber who I shall shout out at the end, but I have customized it quite a bit myself and that's the joy of Notion. You can take something that someone's created or create something yourself and customize it to anything you need. And your periodical reminder that this is free to use as an individual user for blooming ages. So yeah. I hope it's inspiring you. <laughs> and inside one of these, let me find one that was a little bit more complex. This camera cost me £27. So in here, I've got the script, and this is more or less what I said to camera. But here's where this one got a little bit fancy pants because it was a little bit more complex than my usual video, shall we say. So I made a database inside this, which was a shot list for every single thing that I needed to film. So what's handy for this is because I need all these different pieces of equipment, I could organize it in certain ways so I can filter it by, say, slider. So I need my table, 
my computer and my slider for these four shots. And then I might need to figure out which shots I need to film in my room, bang. Which shots do I need to film overhead with my table. Most of my videos, it's not that complicated, but I did go a little bit ham for this one because it was a fashion project. So that's how I use Notion to nurture my ideas and then develop my ideas into something that's useful. That's one and two. Number three, I want to talk about phone integration. This is really cool. So, phone. I have Notion on my phone, and as you can see, it doesn't look a world apart from what it looks like on the desktop. But there's one more thing that I really like. So. I wanted a place where I could dump my ideas quickly on the go without opening up Notion and opening a new database, etc. I just wanted it to be like, oh, what if I made a video about my GH5 and I could just write it down so I don't forget. I have a little plus icon. So when I press the plus, I get a page like this and I can write idea. This is a great idea. And then it'll save automatically to my Notion. And I'll show you where that goes on my desktop. I have a section called notes and it automatically connects and there it is. I keep this section really clean. This is like, like an inbox sort of thing where it's like, I'm going to move that over to my idea board or wherever it may be. So I really love the phone integration. The app itself works great on the phone, but there's also cool things that you can do for quick note taking and ideas as well. Let me show you the pride of my life, which has saved my sanity. This is my hard drive and navigation. And I've got my little uh, Brucey bonus at the top to say, keep organized, you silly person. And in here is how I navigate my hard drives of doom. I have so much content and I don't like to delete everything because there's always a time two, three years down the line where I'll want to talk about something again. So these numbers correlate to the folder that all the footage is in. So for instance, we're looking for Amsterdam. This was 230401. So I can pop it in and because I've got a lot of different hard drives connected, I can either just leave the number going or because I know it's about Amsterdam, if I put the number in Amsterdam, it will find it for me. So inside my Amsterdam folder is all of my lovely images taken in Amsterdam on that specific trip. Then, here's where it gets really fun for my particular needs. In all of the descriptions, I've written which camera I've used. So if I'm doing like a wrap up video, I can search and say uh, GH6. And then I've got camping in Wales with the GH6. I've got astrophotography with the GH6. I've got my Japan trip with the GH6. So now instead of me searching a hundred years to find something, I can find something relatively quickly. So if you're like me and you want to keep track of things a little bit better, Notion is a great way to do that. On to number five. Now this is something that I've made myself and it's available for free download in the link in the description. And it's my content plans for 2024. So my plans for 2024 and I've got a checkbox is four YouTube videos a month, four vertical pieces of content, four blog posts, yada yada yada, and I've linked them all out like this. And then I can tick off the month and make myself feel really good about myself if it works. Let me click into blog posts. So these are blog posts that I've already made the scripts for because I've, I've made videos, but haven't got around to putting them on my website yet. So the tag in here is from YouTube script. I figured I'd set myself up for success and copy these over first because it'd be the most easy. This is just a nice list and then once I've put them on my website, I can tick it. If you don't know already, if you missed my lovely announcement, I am running a photo contest this year. And here is all the information and I'm going to blur out the, the upcoming prompts. Sign up to my mailing list if you want to get involved. There's cool prizes and it's free. So with my massive mecha database of all my existing videos, you can check them in calendar view. You can see exactly when I've uploaded or when I plan to upload. You can see them in this sort of view. So you've got scripting, filming, published, ideas but I kind of just like leaving it as a database and I like keeping it separate so I've got this as a separate one. Link in the description if you think that could be helpful to you. And then number five which I think is the real joy of Notion is it's just customizable to whatever you need so this is very tailored to me as a content creator but for instance if you are a photographer and you're not massively into content creation perhaps you want to do a database organization of the, the species that you see if you're a wildlife photographer you could create a folder with all your uh, latest photographs in and you could quickly make a note I saw a woodpecker 
today, I saw X, Y, and Z. And if you wanted to find something quickly, you could access it by searching your Notion database. I put off using Notion for quite a while because the word database freaked me out. I thought that it would be quite techy and code driven or, you know, something that would be a little bit over my head. But in all honesty, it's just a cool list and a place to put your information and stuff. <laughs> It's dead easy to use. It's really, really easy to get going quickly with Notion. If you are interested, please check out Notion using the links in the description. It shows Notion that you came from me and I'm a big fangirl, so it would really help the channel. I appreciate it very much. So shout out to Nicholas Crystal, who made the original template for this sort of content creation database. And that's also free to download on his video, which is absolutely superb. So I would recommend watching that next if you like the look of my content database. But more than anything, I hope this video has inspired you and given you a little bit of fire to hit the ground running in 2024 and organize yourself and achieve your goals.